In this video, we will go over setting up an email account using your internet domain name. We will sign up for a free email service called Zoho. We will configure Zoho to use your domain name, which includes setting up the DNS entries. And finally, we will verify the email is working correctly. Now, if you haven't already purchased a domain name, I suggest watching the first video in this series that goes over the process of domain name registration. So first, we need to sign up for a Zoho email account. Zoho basically allows you to use your own domain. They offer a free tier. All you have to do to get started is have your domain name already registered and then go to zoho.com forward slash mail, which I've already done and it brings up this page here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click get started now. And here we can see some different tiers. Now, as you grow, you might need to up to a different type of account. But for our purposes of getting started and keeping our costs low, we're just going to sign up for this free account here. Now here we're going to enter in the domain name that we've already purchased. Um, in the previous video, I registered the domain name sfdressco.com, which I'm going to go ahead and enter in here. And then click add domain. Okay, now I'm going to enter in my information here to set up the account. For the email address, this is going to be the actual email address I'm going to be using with this new account. So I'm going to put Matt, which will go to Matt at sfdresscode.com. And then I want to enter in a strong password. And this little gauge here will show you how strong the password is. These are pretty strong. Now we need to enter in a contact email. This can be any email that you already have set up just in case you need to communicate during the setup process with Zoho. Um, I'm just going to use my Gmail account. And then here you have to enter in a uh, word verification. So you just type this word right here. You can choose if you want to subscribe to the newsletter. I'm just going to not select it. And then I'm going to click sign up. Now the account has been set up. So now we're going to go ahead and proceed by clicking on this link here and we'll set up the account. So the first thing we have to do is verify the domain. We have to verify that Zoho has permission to use your domain. And this is done by putting in a DNS entry. There are a couple different methods that are available here, but we're just gonna use the default one, which is creating a C name. Don't really worry about what all that means. It's just very simple. We just create an entry using this information here. And I'm gonna walk you through that process right now. Um, I use Namecheap to sign up for my domain. So that's where we're gonna enter the DNS entries. So go ahead and pull up a new tab and go to namecheap.com and sign in. I've already signed in, as you can see here. I'm going to click here to view the domains in my account. I'm going to select SF dress code. And then I'm going to click under host management. I'm going to select all host records. And this is where we're going to enter the CNAME information. Down here, we're going to put a new entry in for the DNS. We'll select this drop down box and click CNAME, which is the type of record that we're about to enter. Now, if we go back to the domain name setup tab, we're just going to copy and paste these settings exactly the way they are. Now this last entry here is a TTL. Basically that means time to live. It's kind of an expiration how long this setting will stay good for until it checks if it's been updated. In this case, we're just gonna enter 300 and this is measured in seconds. This is 300 seconds, which is about five minutes. We'll scroll down to the bottom, click Save Changes, 
And now we'll wait about five minutes and then we'll come back here and verify the C name. Okay, so a little bit of time has gone by and now we can verify the C name. And it just says ensure that you've given it enough time. We'll go ahead and verify now. And now it says congratulations, it's been verified. And yes, I want to create Matt at sfdresscode.com. So I'll go ahead and click create account. Here we can add additional users. I'm not going to do any in this video, but you can add users later if you like, so it's no big deal. I'm just going to click skip and we're going to go to the next step. Here we can create groups. This is kind of like a group email. So if you wanted info at sfdresscode.com, this is where you'd set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So up here on the top, I'm going to click add group. This group name, I'm just going to call info and it'll just be info at sfdresscode.com. Here you can choose access level. I'm just going to leave it for everyone since I'm the only one in this account. And then I'm going to click down here, create group. Now the group's been created and we have to add members. So over here, I'm just going to click where we can add members. I'm going to click search and add members from org. And here we see my email address that I've set up. It's been put over here to selected users and I'll click add. And now Matt at sfdeskcode.com is now a member of this email. I'm just going to click back to set up down here at the bottom. Now it's time to add the additional DNS entries that allow Zoho to connect to your domain to send email back and forth. That first entry that we put in was just to confirm you actually had access and ownership to that domain. Now this is what's going to actually make the email work using your domain. And we do this by entering a type of DNS entry called an MX record, which stands for mail exchange. So back on that same name cheat page, we're going to go down here and enable Namecheap to use an external email server because by default it just forwards the email to the, the um, email that you registered the account with. So we're just going to select down here user and then by default it says I will specify my own MX records which is good that's what we want and we'll click save changes. Now if we scroll down, we can see we are now able to enter MX entries. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to copy and paste. Host name is ampersand. I'm just going to select and copy this. And then priority 10. Basically it just has a priority between this name server and this name server. That's the preferred one. If that one's not available, it'll go to the second one. So we'll set that up now. Host name was ampersand mail server host name, MX preference was 10. And we also have to enter a TTL just like we did earlier for the C name. We'll just make it 300. And now we'll get the second entry, which is gonna be MX2. Same thing again, ampersand, MX2. This one's gonna be MX preference 20, TTL 300. And click Save Changes. And here we can see host records updated successfully. Now we'll go ahead and click Next. Here gives you an option to migrate email. If you have like another service, you want to move all your email into this account. I'm not going to really go over that since this is pretty much setting up a brand new account. So we'll skip that. And then here you have the option to set up different email clients, basically an email program on your computer. So you could set up Outlook, Thunderbird, Apple mail, and then just general email settings. Um, you can click on these and it'll bring up a, a page with steps how to set up your account. And um, I'm also going to provide you a link how to set this up in your iPhone if that's something you want to do. But we'll just go ahead and skip past this. 
and I'm going to go over setting this up in just a second, but we'll just click skip and proceed to access Zoho Mail. And here you are. Now it's giving us a little error up here. MX records of your domain are not pointed to Zoho. It'll probably take a second for that to update because I just put those entries in. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait a couple minutes and then we'll come back and make sure this is working properly. Okay, it's been a few minutes now and the DNS entry should have propagated by now. We'll go ahead and test this out by trying to send an email. So I'm gonna click on Compose here and I'm gonna enter an email address. And I'm just sending this to, this is to my iPhone. So I'm gonna click send. And now I'm gonna check my iPhone to see if it went through. Hang on. And there, I just replied back and it popped up. There we can see, it works. Now you can sign out by just clicking up here on this little icon and clicking sign out. And it just takes you to the main page. Um, if you ever need to like log back in, you can just go to mail zoho.com click on sign in up here at the top and here you can just enter in your email address and password and now you're all set you can send and receive email from your custom domain using your zoho account be sure to check out the next video where i go over setting up your domain to work with the shopify e-commerce store